I just had a question about um, what happens how do I, when I take the tangent to find the, the direction of a vector and I'm not in quadrant one or two, okay? So, so I created these two little scenarios partly because I don't have a calculator at home and it's easier for me to do stuff that I know, um, angles that I can find, but it works the same if it's some strange, weird angle. So basically, we know um, that in our vector, if this is our vector, here's the x component, here's the y component, that's a right angle, there's the, the direction, here's the magnitude, sometimes we call that r, um, when we get to polar, you'll understand a little bit better why we call it R. Um, but what happens is um, sine of theta is equal to Y over R, which implies that Y is equal to R sine theta. The magnitude of the vector <clears throat> times sine of the theta is equal to the Y component. Um, oh, and okay, so then cosine of theta. I don't know why I'm showing you all this because we needed to talk tangent, but here we go. And this implies that x is equal to r um, cosine theta. So when you want to, if you know the direction, the magnitude, you can put the components as r sine, I lied. The x value is r cosine theta, and then the y value is r sine theta, and you kind of get in the habit of doing that a lot. Okay, so now let's say you know the x and y, which is what I really intended to talk about, to find r, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, because that's Pythagorean theorem. And then to find theta, it's tangent. So tangent, the inverse tangent of y over x is equal to theta. Okay, so, but what we, what I was alluding to in the answer key is that ta inverse tangent only gives you answers in quadrant one and two. Okay, so do you remember when we graphed the inverse tangent, it looked something like this. We've already done this. And so all of our answers live between, this is the line um, y is equal to negative pi over two, or if you're, um, that's in radians, but in degrees, that would be negative 90 degrees. And then this was the line y is equal to positive pi over two. In other words, and in, in degrees, that's a positive 90 degrees. So if you think about it, I took my tangent graph that does this forever, okay? And I just want this one little piece of it. Okay, so that's going from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, or from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. So my calculator, no matter what I do in my calculator, if I take the inverse tangent, I'm only going to get a value between negative 90 and positive 90. Okay, so, but over here, look at these two examples. Their answer is not between negative 90 and positive 90. It's over here in, in quadrant, this one's in quadrant 2. Why did I say 3 or 4? Y'all, it's too early in the morning. Two or three. Okay. Um, so, so what I have here is I can say, okay, well, theta is equal to the inverse tangent of y, um, one half over x, negative root three over two. Well, I can reduce that. Multiply, if I multiply this by two over two, then I end up getting inverse tangent. You might recognize that this is one over a negative root three, which is also saying inverse tangent of negative root three over three, which you knew from the unit circle. Um, and so what this is gonna do in your calculator, this is less steep than root three, so that's one of the, the pi over six family, which is the 30 degrees family. So this, your calculator is going to tell you that this, is, this theta value is equal to a negative 30 degrees. Well, negative 30 degrees is here. That's not the angle, that's not the, the, the direction that this vector is going. The ve vector is going in the opposite direction of that. So we need to add um, 180. So this angle theta right here is 150 degrees. Okay, likewise, if we had this one where it was negative and a negative, when we do this, theta is equal to the inverse tangent of negative 4 over negative 4. Well, that's just the inverse tangent of a positive 1. Well, think back to your unit circle. That's pi over 4 or 45 degrees, then we're saying, okay, theta is equal to 45 degrees, but you notice it's not. 45 degrees would be up here. We've gone in the opposite direction of that, so we have to add 180. Um, so that is 225. So this angle doo -doo 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 -doo, is 225 degrees. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if I can be of further assistance.